Hey kids. Okay, so in this video I'm uh, asking for a little help from maybe some people that have more technology experience than I do. Technological. <clears throat> so here's the deal. I bought a hydrophone. I've owned it a long time. I bought this a long time ago in, in preparation for doing what I'm doing now. It is a... Uh, Aquarian Audio Products Model H2 Hydrophone. H2, haha. Ha. Anyhow, it's a little Aquarian Hydrophone with about 15 feet of cable, 20 feet of cable on it or so. And I'm experimenting with it today because I'm trying to get this worked out. Today has been all about trying to get things better organized so that I can do uh, uh, better quality videos for you guys. I, uh, well, let me show you here. I mounted spots on the in the boat as you can see there the GoPro is mounted over there I've got a number of boat mounts sorry about that I've got a number of boat mounts uh, all around the boat now I've got one over here I've got one over here I've got a couple on the outside I've got some clamps to go on the railings once we get the push pit welded um, I even found a selfie stick that's right Mike Mayfield I actually have a selfie stick now, so I'm going to be able to use my phone and not have it be where you're looking up in the sky. You'll be able to see me and be able to look up because I have a little selfie stick now. I've actually had it for a long time. It was just buried up here in the uh, area. I just had to dig it out. So today I dug out all my stuff and I'm working on getting all of the boats set up for uh, much better communication. But with that said, I'm playing with the hydrophone right now. And here's the problem. When I drop the hydrophone in, obviously you'll lose my audio, and like an idiot, I'm still trying to talk, thinking maybe you're hearing me when you're not. Um, when I drop the, the, the hydrophone in, in the first few feet of water, I pick up radio transmissions. Um, it, it, it becomes an antenna and tunes in radio. Uh, I'm hearing two stations simultaneously. Uh, it seems the deeper I go down into the water, the more interference I guess there is with the radio stations and I'm not picking up radio anymore. Uh, I'm getting down where I'm just hearing the, you know, the clicking and rustling and stuff that's uh, uh, down on the seafloor, which is what I'm trying to hear. I'm trying to hear what's on the seafloor or whatever fishes and stuff are swimming around. Ideally one day I want to have this perfected so that I can record dolphins and and whales and that kind of stuff out in the ocean shrimp clicking those sorts of things um, But right now here in Manhasset Bay. I'm just testing it and trying to see if I can get some clean audio But I'm, I'm trying to figure out why I'm getting all this radio interference. So here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna play this for you twice the first time I'm going to just let it play so you can hear it exactly as I recorded it and then the second time, I'm going to add a little narration. Of course, you'll be able to go back and rewind and listen to the uh, other part. But it would be a good idea for you to have some headphones on so you can hear this clearly uh, to get the subtleties and stuff of it. But uh, anyhow, let me know what you think. I would really be interested to hear uh, if anybody could give me some advice on, one, how do I get rid of the radio transmission signals? Um, and I don't, I don't know if there is any way of doing that. Uh, and two, um, if there's anything else I should be doing maybe to improve the quality of sound using a hydrophone because this is my first time playing with it and I don't have any experience with that. So anyhow guys, let me know what you think and, and just if you like this kind of thing, let me know. Alright, here we go. Okay kids, well right now we are playing with my hydrophone. We're going to test the hydrophone. Now I'm right here in the back of the boat. The bay is pretty quiet right now, except for a big motor yacht going by me right now. And uh, from my preliminary test, I believe you can hear me through this hydrophone. You get a lot of noise from everything that we touch with it. So, anyhow, as I said, the bay is pretty quiet, except for this big motor yacht. That's going by right now. So we're going to give him a minute let him go by. I want to do a fairly complete test with this and see how well it works. I tried experimenting it with it earlier, and I ended up getting a bunch of radio signals. Um, I don't want to 
don't listen to the radio with my hyperdome. I want to listen to what's underneath the seafloor. So and now we have that guy's wake hitting us. Double power boats are on the way coming into the bay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do and listen to that and see what we heard. Okay, so here's the radio noise. Now I'm only in about three feet of water at this point. Now I'm down to about six feet of water. And you can see the radio noise cuts back dramatically, but it's still there.
staffers and reach out to the Okay, so here I am dropping it down now to about 10 feet. You can still hear the radio clearly, although you can hear the water sounds against my ladder and you can hear the water sounds on the bottom of the boat. That whirring noise you hear, that's an outboard motor that's off in the distance. Okay, now I'm down about 13, 14 feet. The radio is quieter, but you can still hear that whirring sound of that outboard motor off in the distance. But you can start to hear the clicking and the other noises of all the critters underneath the uh, underneath the sea. Kind of sounds like raindrops. That's actually fishes and stuff down there. And now we're about 16, 17 feet of water. The further deep where we go, the, the more and the more the radio gets muted, but still it's there. You can hear it. Maybe if I was someplace that didn't have so much radio transmission like it does around New York. I hear I'm kind of bouncing the bottom, you know, or getting close to it. All right, there you heard me hit the bottom. You heard the thud. Right there, he just lifted me up off the bottom. So here I'm only at about a foot uh, uh, from the bottom. You can clearly hear all the critters and stuff down there, all that, what sounds like raindrops. That's the little shrimps and the little clams and crabs and everything making their noise. Okay, now I'm up to about four feet off the bottom four or five in about 13 feet of water. And the more I come to the surface, now the louder the radio gets. So here I am 10 feet deep and about 10 feet off the bottom is an airplane flying overhead. That's what I'm saying there. Now you can really hear the water splashing on the ladder about seven feet from the surface. Actually, I didn't measure that very well. It's more like nine feet from the surface. Because when I pulled it up and I thought I was at the surface, I was still down a couple feet. Now we're actually in about six feet. Even though I'm thinking it's four, it's actually about six feet of water. Look how clearly you can hear the radio now. It's almost drowning out everything else. Now as I get right up near the surface, the radio gets really loud. Now I'm, I'm splashing the mic right at the surface. So that's right where the surface of the water is there. So I was down about five feet, so. Well, now we'll take it back in and listen to that and see what we heard. Okay, kids, so here's the deal. You can hear the noise in the background. I really like getting the recording of all the, the rain, crinkly sounds that are coming from all the critters on the seafloor. What I'd like to get rid of is the radio transmission. So if anybody knows some way that I could do that, maybe um, I need to, uh, to do something, ground the microphone or something maybe, I don't know, uh, what to do with a hydrophone to try to eliminate that radio transmission. Um, Possibly if I'm just someplace further away. I mean, I'm, I'm only 30 miles out of New York City. There's there's a bazillion radio stations in New York City. So I'm sure that I'm being overpowered by them a little bit here. Uh, but as I get further away from New York City or, or the more populated areas, I think the hydrophone will become uh, a better tool. But if anybody knows of any way to eliminate that now, I'd really like to know how. So anyhow thanks guys i hope you appreciate that and hope you enjoyed listening to that with me playing with my hydrophone if there's anything i can do for you please let me know in the meantime please check the description down below you'll find links to my patreon page should you want to become a patron i do put some content up for patrons only and you'll find a link to my paypal account should you want to contribute to the cause 
uh, funds are always uh, uh, greatly appreciated, any donation that comes in. So, anyhow, we'll have more for you later, kids. Thanks.